Hello YouTube! Now I have a very special series coming up. Uh, we bought this series. Now this is not a sponsored. Uh, we did not get these for free. I actually these are the uh, most expensive tweeters I have ever bought. Uh, so this series is about audiophile sound quality and what is best of the best from Hertz and are they the best of the best tweeters around there now? I'm not sure about that. I'm a bass head, not a audiophile. I let you decide if these are good or not. Now after this video, uh, I will be showing some pictures of these and uh, we I'm gonna make a, another video about how these sound in car and make sure you look it up because I have some interesting stuff with these mid-range speakers with the enclosure test enclosures later on. But now we'll cons um, concentrate on these ML280.3 uh, competition tweeters. Now uh, these are Hertzmillelegend, the best of the best of their series. Inside the box you get manuals of course and the tweeters. Now I have now here one tweeter because the other tweeter is already installed in here into a pillar. Uh, as you can see I have uh, um, made these 3 3D, 3D printed parts here uh, where I can use them with these tweeters. Everything you can see you see here will come out at our Thingiverse uh, uh, as a free if you want to print these out yourself. Now Later that in the... Uh, ooh, let's not drop that, it's quite expensive. Now the Twitter. Uh, it is quite pretty Twitter. Now if you are a pure sound quality person, you maybe dislike these grills on front of here. I've seen some pictures of these uh, cutout pictures and actually I think that this is removable but it's not easy to remove and I don't want to yinx it, I don't want to try to take it off while destroying the Tetolone fiber dome tweeter. Tetolone, I'm not familiar what is that uh, kind of fabric, but it is a Tetolone tweeter uh, with a very nice aluminium, a smooth aluminium finish. Now, if we, if we look behind it, it has a no terminals but built in uh, wires hooked in. Now, these are just for test purposes. I'm not gonna connect them uh, with these. I just wanted to test them out find the right place for them and I used uh, these spade terminals to use them. Now behind here you can see a EID identification. It's a laser has uh, burnt down a small QR code here. We will be checking that out later on this video. What is inside there? Now uh, the Twitter is very small. It is diameter um, uh, 35 millimeters, 1.38 inches in diameter. A slightly heavy Twitter. It is neonium magnet. Uh, like every uh, on this every Harold Miller Legend series, these have all a neonium magnet inside. Uh, ca uh, cast aluminium frame, and inside the box you only like get these. Uh, small bracings w where you can connect them into if you're using them through your panels or something like that you can oh let's take it off you can put them like here and screw them in it is fully enclosed here so if you take this uh, screw out it will not disturb your sound in any ways it is just nice small tweeter, a very pleasant sounding. I've been listening these for two weeks or so now and they are just driving in and they sound absolutely great. Uh, I, I could not be more happy about them. Now when you... I've been thinking here, well first of all I'm a ba bass head and I don't know much about sound quality. I have learned a lot and I uh, install a lot of good sounding uh, devices, but pure uh, competition sound quality is not my uh, my. I, I'm not good at them as I don't compete in M, uh, sound quality or in any uh, competition format uh, that requires good sound quality. But I've been learning a lot of them lately, and I'm. Uh, considering these as a very good reference speakers as uh, these mid-range speakers 
uh, when I listen to them they sound very nice also and adding a tweeter into the uh, system just brings more everything uh, it's not a very uh, precise sound not a very scratching sound like from a bullet tweeter it is very pleasant but a crisp sound that comes out from them now the amplifier I'm using is uh, Audison Prima 8.9 so it's not the best of the best sound quality uh, amplifier either but these sound absolutely great with that amplifier now uh, let's keep everything in a short let's check it out this EID and continue discussion in in the comment section and on the video where I will be playing all of these files now this has a frequency response from 1 kilohertz to 28 kilohertz so that's quite a lot more than a human here can uh, human can hear but I think it's more like it's not a hearing process it's a sense of feeling that you get sound uh, coming into your ear if you play uh, frequencies up to uh, 28 kilohertz uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt but that's how I think now if I put a I install this QR droid on my cell phone and I scan uh, now take that back there and then I just scan this oh come on scan 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 focus please it scans it it says internet address and here you have thank you for scanning Hertz ML 280.3 serial number shipping date product information etc etc very very nice to have this kind of information inside your speakers now this is not only a serial number and that uh, something like that you can actually get a one year extra warranty in your device when you scan it and register in in your name uh, thus making it impossible for a foreign uh, let's say if you if somebody wants to make a copy of these speakers and make a cheap copy out of them they cannot get these QR codes that uh, go strictly into the Hertz pages and you can register them. So this means that this is genuine Hertz Miller legend speaker. And that's quite nice. I like, I really, really, really like that uh, kind of information. Now this was Hertz Miller ML 280.3, not a sponsored video. I actually bought these. These are the most expensive tweeters I have ever bought. And actually, I could not be more happy about them. I'm really excited how they sound. I'm really excited how the system is sounding. I'm really happy how everything is turning out. And it, it, it was a good choice. I really liked it. Now, uh, leave a comment, like if you like, dislike it, if you dislike and leave a comment, what kind of tweeters you have, what uh, kind of tweeters uh, you would recommend for me. Are a, a, a some other brand better sound quality wise speak uh, Twitter than these? I will be happy to discuss about this kind of stuff in the, the comment section. See you in there and see you on the next video. Bye bye.